subscribers and coming at you again with another tutorial from a different angle right see I'm trying different angles you know just kind of changing things up a little bit just to make it a, a bit more interesting right and probably this might be the one that you folks like right so um, of course I have my line 6 pad go I also have my QSC that's that I'm using right now um, so yeah, I've decided to do this because I'm going to be using the wah pedal, of course. So, I'm just going to show you a little bit of what's going on with the foot, right? So, um, yeah, I want to show you guys how to play Lucky Doobie the way it is. A very big song, a song that I, I, rem I just remember this song. So, I decided to just jump on, on my, um, my setup here. <laughs> my logic pro and i just punch in a, a few little um tracks and so i try my best not to make it too close to the original due to copyright reasons right so um i want to show you folks how to play it a very simple song three cards and um you know with a little bit of stock line and so a very fun song so you know what grab your guitars let me show you to play this one let's go all right so i just want to say if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so um it's a red button right down there hit that hit the notification bell and hit all so whenever i post a new video you will be notified you, you you'll get it right it's quite simple and also my people remember to always hit the thumbs up button very important to me so i can do this for a brother all right yeah so again a very simple song a three card song and it's in the key of a major it's a one five four song cool very simple so um so let's start with the, the cards bar cards you want to bar the whole fifth fret with the pointer finger you want to place the middle finger on the third string of the sixth fret right there place the pinky finger on the fourth string seventh fret and you want to place the ring finger on the fifth string seventh fret that right there is your A major, which is the one. Right? Now you want to move to the seventh fret here. You want to bar that because we're going for the um, the five. Right? You want to use the ring finger. You want to place it on the second, third, and fourth string. Right? Of the ninth fret, like that. Now you want to be play. You want to play from this string. Even if you play this one. It's not going to be too bad because the note is still there. But just remember, it's reggae and probably you probably you're playing with a band, so you don't want to have the you know you want to have more of the in it. So far we have right now. You want to move to the four. Just move it a hole down like that. So from here. To here, so now the pointer finger is going to be barring the fifth fret, ring finger, second, third, and fourth string of the seventh fret. Remember this string, first string is optional. All right, all right. So the pattern is and the timing actually, the counts are gonna two, three, four, four under one, two under five. Two on the four again. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Now the structure of the song is very, very easy, and I mean it's basically the same thing they play over and over and over. So don't even worry too much about that, right? Just continue playing that. You know, you just can if you wanna add your slide.
All right. Now, if my ears is not leading me astray, the guitarist is playing a double skank. No, a double skank is like this. If you do not know how to do this or how to strum reggae at all, I wanted to check the cards right now. Or I'm going to leave the link to a video that I did on how to strum reggae full details. So go ahead and check that out. It's going to be in the description. All right. So fret not thyself. Cool. So one, two, um, five, four. And for the wah pedal, it's a vibe, all right? So you want to catch your little vibe, not too much. When I play it, I don't work it too much. I slowly down, slow up, and it will sound like this. That's how I play it sometimes. All right. And this is how it sounds with the chart that I need. Right. Remember, for copyright reason, I didn't. I try my best to leave a few little um, errors, a few little faults here and there. And I tried my best not to mix it or do anything to make it sound too much like the original. The cards are there. So here we go. Go like this. That's basically how it sounds. All right. If you do not know the song, I'm going to leave a link to the original in the description also. So go ahead and check that out and come back here. All right. And for copyright reasons, I will not be playing out all the song, the full song in any of my videos. So please be mindful. Please understand. Cool. Now there's a stock line. Which I think goes like this. Something like this. Alright. Now it's a real quick. I'm going to play it slow so your folks can see where I put the finger. So let's use a middle finger right there. Sometimes you can play. So Cool. You can mix it up a little bit. Just make sure you're staying in key. With the rhythm, it sounds a little something like this. That is basically how you play Lucky Doobie the way it is on electric guitar from a different angle right remember 
the slower you practice, the more effective. If you want to be able to go fast, you have to start practicing slow first. So be mindful of that. All right, pay close attention to that. All right, go slow. My name is Zion. Blessed love. Peace out. I'll see you next time.